What we're about to demonstrate is the correct insertion technique for the intersurgical solus laryngeal mask airway. Firstly, it is important that you select the correct size for each patient and the patient weight does appear on the airway tube. Next, prepare the laryngeal mask airway by fully deflating it to a very tight vacuum. Contrary to some popular belief that there should be some air in the cuff, this is not so because a filled cuff can collide with the epiglottis. Next, prepare the solus for insertion by putting some gel or lubricant on the back of the cuff. Just on the tip of the back plate is all that is required. Then, in readiness for the correct insertion technique, insert your index finger into the slot formed behind the flattened cuff and the junction with the airway tube. Then prepare the patient by tilting the head back and bring the tip of the laryngeal mask airway laterally towards the patient, not downwards, but resting the tip behind the teeth and gums because you're going to utilize first the hard and then the soft palate of the patient to perform a sweeping action that optimizes the anatomy as an introducer tool. Inserting the laryngeal mask vertically or obliquely brings about difficulties, but by following the curve created by the palate, rather than bouncing off the back of the throat, is by far the simplest method of effective insertion. So we are ready now to start inserting the laryngeal mask airway. And there you see it, following the natural curvature, with the finger going as far as it can, and then using the other hand to stabilize the laryngeal mask as you remove the introducing finger. Then with a pre-prepared syringe, inflate the correct volume. You'll notice that not only is the cuff inflating in the pharyngeal cavity, but the connector is also rising slightly, which is an indicator that the laryngeal mask has been fully inserted. The tip of the cuff is now sitting over the esophagus, which is acting as a form of partial stopper, either against reflux coming up, or possible minor leakage of gases into the stomach. The epiglottis is resting over the top of the cuff, and the whole of that section is now completely filling the pharynx, which is a special feature of the laryngeal mask airway, because now the nitrous oxide or other gases are being directed solely through the trachea and into the lungs.